Sierra's a nice name, by the way. It is a nice name. I also like Sarah as a name. I also like Sierra Mist. I do like Sierra Mist. Yeah, it gets a bad rap. Falling for Christmas is a 2022 American Christmas rom-com. It's directed by Janine Damien in her directorial debut. So some congrats are in order for uh, Janine there. I mean, this one isn't totally up our alley. We do lean gay streaming Christmas movies. True. But this one's heterosexual, whatever. Lindsay Lohan plays uh, Sierra, the heiress to a real estate fortune, specifically hotels. She doesn't want for anything. She has all this money. And uh, she's dating a an influencer named Tad. And we'll talk later about how these streaming Christmas movies can lay certain things on pretty thick. But Tad kind of sucks. And she's figuring out what she wants to do. Meanwhile, there is a guy named Jake who owns a struggling ski lodge. And he's really getting squeezed out by... Beauregard Belmont's massive empire. He's trying to make deals, trying to do whatever he can to save this family business of his for he was left it by his late wife's parents. Mm -hmm. And he's there with his daughter and a woman who is, is that his mother-in-law or it's his his mother-in-law? So he is, uh, he's a real trooper. That guy sticks around. He does. A good guy. And he lightly hints at, Sometimes I think of not sticking around. So you're rooting for something to come into his life. And uh, wouldn't you know it, Sierra, while on a skiing trip with Tad, gets in a skiing accident, gets amnesia, can't remember who she is, what she is, found by Jake. Jake nurses her back to health, and we think maybe there could be some romance there. It's got a 58 On Rotten Tomatoes. Not amazing. What about audience score? It's a 60 audience score. Okay. I would come in below 60. Uh, It is, for me, a very, very paint-by-numbers sort of movie that doesn't really have an original thought in its head. Oh, boy, does it not. And you you were texting me as you were watching it. You were like, man, there are, like, specific jokes, even. They are. They have they have lifted very specific jokes in this movie. Uh, it does not have an original thought. It does not have any sort of brain power whatsoever to it. If you're a, a, a suburban wine mom, you might love it. Otherwise, it's not really for me. What if... I have you a low bar with a these kind of movies too, <laughs> and can't remember anything. And this is the first movie you watch. You might like it. You'll it be might like, be re- relatable and the best movie you've this seen. This is just a robust, thoughtful, <laughs> clever. There actually is one good joke. There's one good joke in this movie. Okay. I was gonna say, do you know what it is? But you're looking at me like there's one good joke in this movie. <laughs> She's in the hospital. Can't remember where she is, who she is, any of this. And there's a scene where uh, Jake, who found her. The nurse and the sheriff say, she's a Jane Doe. We don't know what to do with her. And the three of them argue over has to, who has to be stuck with her. Yes. They're like, I don't want this person. Well, I don't want this person. Are you seeing this person? Looks like Lindsay Lohan. I don't want that. I'm like, hey. Uh, <laughs> so um, Jake takes her home to the ski lodge. And he's like, oh, I might have some clothes for you. People leave some uh, clothes here by accident sometimes. And Lindsay Lohan picks up a uh, scarf that's kind of ugly and says, Not sure this was left here by accident. <laughs> that's really funny. Congratulations. Someone the was way. there and they were like, yo, this scarf <laughs> sucks. I'm leaving it it's here. It's their scarf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was a sweater, right? No, it was a scarf. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's sure. Like, fuck that. I'm, I am getting rid of this. I mean, if that's the funniest joke you got <laughs> out of like a two hour movie. Oh, dude, I like quickly hit pause. I was like getting my notes. I was like, <laughs> good joke. Um, I believe that this movie is called Falling for Christmas because uh, in like every two scenes, there is somebody who falls down. Yeah. And makes a funny. Some like, real training camp David Posternox. A rookie camp, I should say. About like 45% of all human interactions in this movie come immediately after somebody falls down. The influencer stuff and the social media stuff is extremely how do you do fellow kids. Yeah, 100%. It's a lot of like the phone's making a noise and he's like, oh, wait, hold on a second. I'm not trending enough. I have to take another selfie. When he's meeting her dad, he gets a little beep and he goes, ha, trending. Yeah, it's like that's... 
not how it works. Although there is a there is a cool scene in that scene. Uh, Beauregard says to Tad when he's explaining what he does, he's like, "I'm an influencer. I do this. I do this." And then and he's like, "Ah, so you're a salesman?" Mm-hmm. And he's like, "Oh, I'm not a salesman." And I'm like, "Yo, influencing do be salesmen." And they do, yeah. That's that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. There wasn't a whole lot of chemistry between the two leads here, Mm-mm. but boy, did they let you know that they were they were falling for each other. I mean, there were Very so many scenes plainly where spoken. <laughs> the score did a did the, the heaviest lifting in yes, this movie. Yeah. There's one scene where he's like uh, he had said something mean to her, which I'll say in a second. But he said something mean to her, and then later he's like, you know what? Let's decorate the tree. And she's like, but what about? And he she was like, but you said, and he said, I know what I said. Let's decorate the tree. And there's this like great nice music under it if you said something really mean to me and then after was like let's record the podcast and i was like but you said and you were like i know what i said let's record the let's podcast. record the podcast we got a job to do i'd be like <laughs> god this is worse than i thought <laughs> yeah, right if i was Lindsay lowen in that in that scene i'd be like uh, free labor okay yeah. fine <laughs> yeah right he's like <laughs> he's got errands to run <laughs> get the fucking ladder <laughs> dummy uh the thing that he says to her because he's saying that he wants to give up on the north star and she's saying you can't do it it's the north star lodge yeah uh it's the name of the lodge and she's like you can't do it people make memories here and he says uh it's the best line oh i know what it is what do you know about memories you can't even remember your name Oh, fucking roasted. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely roasted. You've just driven into fuckville. <laughs> Man, he got her ass. And then that, like one minute later was like, now let's decorate the fucking tree. <laughs> there is some real leaps that the viewer needs to take with this movie in terms of the missing aspect, the missing person mm-hmm. element of of this film. There's a lot of uh, Superman versus Clark Kent stuff going on, too, where it's like, because she's not wearing fancy clothes, nobody sees her. Right. Why do they call? Why do they start calling her Sarah, by the way? Because they just tried out a name. Oh, and Sarah's the closest one? Yeah, and it happens to be very, very close to Sierra. Sierra's a nice name, by the way. It is a nice name. I also like Sarah as a name. I also like Sierra Mist. I do like Sierra Mist. Yeah, it gets a bad rap. They end up finding her. Tad's there. Sierra's a nice name, by the way. It is a nice name. I also like Sarah as a name. I also like Sierra Mist. I do like Sierra Mist. Yeah, it gets a bad rap. Tad's there, and Beauregard's there. They throw a big press conference to discuss that she was both found and that she's engaged, and the media is all excited about like Tad being Mid-up. there because yeah. he's a, an influencer. Yeah. And they're all like, how cool. And all the questions are like, Sierra, so you're with Tad? Let me tell you a little something. Been in the media for a minute. The media would not be like that. They yeah. would be like, who the, f- if you throw an influencer <laughs> our way, we're like, all right, who is this person? I'm supposed to know who it is now. If any, and what influencer, do they do? if any influencer has a press conference that is yeah. covered by television, yes, the television have, people don't know. They have fucked up, right? Because, I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. like it's the the old versus the new, right? So yeah. like the old can deal with like you if you give me like a real celebrity, that's a good point. I'd yeah. be like amazing, but there. I mean, I text you so many times and say, "Who is this person? Am I supposed to know who they are?" Yeah, like, just from friends making a, a reference to somebody, and you'll be like. Oh, they're like, seriously, like the 20th most famous person in the world right yeah. now. And I just don't know. Right. But if you give me, uh, if you give me like Logan Miller, <laughs> the like, and I say this lovingly, like the sea and rising list actor, yes. I'm like, holy smokes, Logan <laughs> Miller's here? It's a good point. I hadn't really, I hadn't really thought too much about it. I was checked out of the movie by this point. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? <laughs> Um, turns out Lindsay Lohan's character likes the other guy better. Once get once having full knowledge of of both of them, the influencer and the uh, bread and breakfast owner, uh, she decides that she likes the bed and breakfast owner better. And they let you know this by doing a hey, in case you missed it montage of stuff that happened throughout the entire movie. I've been watching. They did give. They did do a, a brief clips episode <laughs> yes. in the middle of this movie. They did like a, a last week yes, on yeah. falling for Christmas. It's like this is a two-hour movie. I've been here the whole time. 
That's really funny. I do like Sierra Mist. Yeah, it gets a bad rap. Gay. That was that was a choice. Fortunately, they end up together, and it's it's good because I mean she's got the bankroll, he's got the the dreams. Mm -hmm. I think they're gonna have a very nice marriage. What do you think about a uh, sequel potential here? I mean, her being the stepmom to somebody who is a hundred times smarter than her would be a pretty good movie. I think the sequel ha would have a lot of potential to be better than this one. One, because this movie sucks. Uh, <laughs> two, it was shoot around for Lindsay Lohan. And maybe she's getting back in the, the shooting groove. Yeah. So I would like to see a sequel that uh, just centers around the bed and breakfast, their developing relationship, get Tad out of the equation, Let's throw a different kind of maybe let's get a look a little creative for the first time in our life and throw something different in the mix. I could see it. I mean, this movie is definitely going to be popular on Netflix, it's gonna have good streaming numbers because of the Lindsay Lohan appeal. So I wouldn't I wouldn't rule out a sequel. All right, that's falling for Christmas. If uh, you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, please, and check out the brunch podcast. You can find it wherever you find your podcasts. What do you uh what's your letterbox sc score? Oh, um, two. I would put this movie in like the forty range, so I would give it two stars. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'll, I'll say two and a half, which yeah. does feel feel high. It's it's just sounds For, like a forty. Honestly, feels high for me. Like the the acting was bad. Not an original movie. Um, like the jokes mostly weren't funny. Mm -hmm. Um, just like not a lot going in here. Yeah.